The early hours of the morning of Sunday, March the 5th, it's the one we've been waiting for. Judgment Day for Joe Calzaghe and Jeff Lacey, introduced by Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the bout you've all been waiting for. The unification showdown for the Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Prepare to welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, ladies and gentlemen, entering to the red corner, the IBF and IBO World Champion from St. Petersburg, Florida. There's the IBF champion, Jeff Lacey. They say he's one of the hardest hitting fighters in the world in any division. And he says that the atmosphere here, the hostile atmosphere, will not affect him. I like being the underdog, he says. Well, here he is stepping into a crowd which must be 99% Joe Calzaghe. from the crowd he's been pretty surly and non-communicative all week he was a smiling figure when he came over a month or two ago when this fight was announced but this week he has just not wanted to know only stands about five foot nine but you'll see when he takes that tracksuit off he has a physique which is absolutely ripped he's in terrific condition Jeff Lacey stepping into the ring, centre stage in the Manchester Arena in front of some 16,000 fans. And they, to a man and woman, seem to be making him well aware of what they think. There's the IBF belt. And Lacey just content to prowl the ring. What sort of thoughts are going through that head? And now, ladies and gentlemen, entering to the blue corner, the WBO World Champion from Newbridge, Wales, Joe Calzaghe. Joe Calzaghe gets the hero. Welcome. A lot of these fans have made the journey up from Wales, but this is an appeal of a fight for the entire country. Kaltagi getting a colossal reception. Zaghi has been here, done it so many times before, but never quite on a stage like this, in front of so many people. This is the defining fight he has craved. Now 33 years old, saluting his public. But how will his hand stand up? Is he fit enough to repel one of the meanest men in boxing? It's due to go. 12 three minute rounds, a unification fight, and there are the rules. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. The fighters cannot be saved by the bell. If there's an accidental clash of heads inside four rounds, causing the end of the fight, it's a no contest. After that, it goes to the cards. That's the rules for this fascinating fight. Enzo Calzaghe, father and trainer of Joe right the way through his career. A lot of experience in that corner.
He will have to be absolutely at his very best if he's going to win this fight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Las Vegas, Nevada, in the United States, Adelaide Bird. From London, England, Roy Francis. And from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Nelson Vasquez. And introducing to you, ladies and gentlemen, our third man in the ring, working in this, his 90th world title bout, Raul Caiz Sr. All right, fans, here we go. The time has come for the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the unified super middleweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Manchester, England, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing you first on my right, the WBO champion fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white trim, hailing from New Bridge of South Wales. He weighed in at an even 12 stone, 168 US pounds, he is undefeated in his illustrious campaign of the ring with 40 wins, no losses, 31 wins coming by way of knockout tonight. He is making the 18th defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Please welcome the pride of Wales, introducing Joe. His weight, 11 stone, 13 pounds, for 167 U.S. pounds. He is a U.S. Olympian, undefeated in the professional ranks, with a record of 21 wins, no losses, one no decision, with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his sixth appearance in the world title, here is the undefeated IBF and IBF. Instructions 12 rounds of boxing scheduled. Referee calling the two men together for final words of instruction. All right, gentlemen, the time you've been waiting for is here. The opportunity of a lifetime, so remember, take advantage. You had your instructions, boom here, right here is fine. Both of you got it, trunks high. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. Well, this is the one we've been waiting for. The unification fight that Joe Calzaghe has craved for so long. It has arrived. 12 rounds, Joe Calzaghe against Jeff Lacey. They say it's the biggest super middleweight title fight since Roy Jones against James Tony back in 1994. Calzaghe fighting out of the southpaw stance, the taller man by a couple of inches. And will he be content to try and just box his way to victory? I don't know if he's going to get the chance to box his way to victory because, you know, Lacey's just going to come looking for him. This is where he needs to have the fight up close. Kalzaghi breaking out of that clinch well with a right hand to the body, followed by the nice little jab into the face of Lacey, another one. Kalzaghi, I know, has been thinking he's got to try and keep his punches straight, try and fight at range as far as he can. But there is always that macho streak in Calzaghi when he gets tagged. He likes to reply, re reply to fire with fire of his own. 
He started nice and confidently though. Bit of attempted use of the head, I think, from Jeff Lacey in close. They made him shave off that beard that he's been sporting in the run-up to the fight. Well, Kazaki's got the higher work rate. You know, he can fight like this for 12 rounds, you know, at a much harder pace than Lacey. But Lacey obviously is the puncher of the two. I do rather think that Kalzaghi technically might be the better boxer. But is the is the edge in power with Kals with uh, Lacey? You know, Lacey's got scar tissue underneath his left eye. You know, he'd be the one to cut. I think that this is going to go to cut to anything like it, but this is what you expect from Lacey, just going to come looking for Joe. Right hand from Lacey, he landed one to the body and then a big swing and straight away as Calzaghi gets hit, he starts going into a terror. Here goes the work rate from Calzaghi, remember the left hand is the fragile one, he can't afford to have that one damaged. Just lost his balance slightly in that exchange. The Lacey camp have gambled that Calzaghi is a fighter in decline and that he's a man ready to be taken. Joe's already started his assault, he's not really throwing too many headshots, he's aiming them at the body because he knows his hands might be a little bit fragile, but you watch him when he starts to go to work. Calzaghi's boxed quite neatly in this opening period, he's favouring the right hand clearly. But so far, he's, a, he's got the speed to just jab his way in and then content to tie Lacey up in close. And Calzaghi will be happy with the way this first round has gone. Lacey can't match Calzaghi for work rate. He's just coming crouching in. There's a right hand. That's the best shot from Lacey so far. That's the danger punch. That shot Calzaghi. This is what you get from Calzaghi. Good headshots. This is what you get from Calzaghi when he's hurt. He's like an out of control winger which just starts throwing shots. Well, that's the first round to Calzaghi, but he did take a big right hand. Calzaghi working Listen. well behind the jab right. in the early exchanges. Right. And then the flurry of punches when the action really hotted up. Game plan. I want one man now, your boxer's ass off. In the other, other corner, Dan Birmingham up. is the trainer okay, speaking to right Jeff Lacey. Listen, that is your head. Just normal, put your mouth. Step quick. Deep hands lead. Bang, bang. Drop that jab and bring the hook. Oh, he's dropping his hands. He's wide open. He's so squared up. He's up. He's I know already the nose of, of, of Lacey is seeping blood. There's that right hand from Calzaghi, but back came the Welshman, and he returned it with interest. Well, Calzaghi's drawn for his blood. Can't afford to take any sort of unnecessary risks against such a dangerous opponent, or oh, champion, I should say, in Jeff Left Hook Lacey. Yeah, you have to sort of pinch yourself to remember this is not just a title defence for Calzaghi, this is him trying to add another world championship belt. Beautiful left uppercut inside there by Calzaghi. Lacey going looking for headshots, these are the danger punches, that right hand is the one Calzaghi cannot afford to get caught with. Calzaghi outworking Lacey at this stage. Lacey trying to drag Calzaghi down onto the punch on the blind side of the referee. Calzaghi himself spinning Lacey now and trying to work away on the ropes. Good work rate from the 33-year-old undefeated Welshman. See Calzaghi pacing himself. He's boxing an intelligent fight thus far. There's a low one there from Lacey. Also, Calzaghi's got his, 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 uh, his, his protector pulled up as high as he can possibly get it, which is what we're not really accustomed to with, with Kawasaki, but we know Lacey bangs well to the body. Oh, good uppercut from Kawasaki, really good shot. Lacey takes it well. Remember, Lacey was stung in the early stages when he fought Omar Shika. That was arguably the hardest title defence so far, and he came back and won it well in the end. Good jab from Lacey this time, snapping shots, and Kawasaki just walked onto that one. I just thought Kawasaki's getting engaged a little bit too early for my liking. I'd like to see him use the ring more. Not, not be flash, just be sensible. 
you know, use the ring more, try and put some points in the bag, try and make this a little bit cumbersome because Lacey doesn't quite have Kawasaki's footwork or hand speed. Kawasaki needs to snap the jab, needs to work behind that right hand lead, that's his key to this fight. It's better boxing from Kawasaki, you know, a little treble jab and just a little step off. You know, make Lacey, make him miss, make him pay. Lovely right uppercut. Kawasaki is out boxing Lacey at this stage. But it's a 12 round fight and a little contemptuous smile from Kawasaki as he tags Lacey almost at will. Lacey wants this to be in tear up, he's trying to urge Kawasaki in. Well, this is, this is pretty much what I thought we'd get from Lacey. He's not getting his own way, and he's already starting to complain. Well, this is a really good start from Calzaghi, but Lacey now is into his face, and that's where he wants to be. Good uppercut again from Calzaghi, picking the shot well, and nothing coming back in there from Lacey. It's all Calzaghi in that exchange. Well, a brilliant opening from Joe Calzaghi. Dan Birmingham, Lacey's trainer, protesting vociferously to the referee about something. Don't try to loop the hand right hand right now. Let him wear out a little bit. Straight punch, straight punch, bang, bang, right hand. Bring the hook up to the body, bring it up. Trying to get those hooks into play. They call him left hook Lacey, we've not seen it yet. What a good start to this fight from Joe Calzaghi. Really good effort. And Lacey at the moment is being set problems to which he doesn't have the answer. Well, you've got to expect a change of tactics from Lacey. He's going to have to really start to bully Kawasaki. He's going to have to up his work rate. But then you can expect Kawasaki to go straight with him. Oh, good shot from Kawasaki. Short, straight left. But Lacey into his face. Those are low punches, surely. Yeah, this is getting really messy now. But the referee can't see it. You saw where he was placed, right behind the back of Lacey. Kalzaghi gets away with it. Kalzaghi's going to have to fight his way out of the corner. He doesn't want to be in that sort of toe-to-toe -to -toe terror. A twist turn Lacey nicely there. Oh, that's good work from Kalzaghi. Quality work, but can he keep this sort of intensity of performance, this sort of speed, this work rate going for 12 rounds? Had to do it a few years ago against Charles Brewer down in Cardiff. That was a great fight that night. Well, I think he can, John. Just needs to box sensible now, needs to go missing. He's boxing fantastically well so far. He's making Lacey look ponderous in there, but we know Lacey has fitness and strength. And blood is still seeping from Lacey's nostrils. Good right hand from Calzaghi. If he is the slapper that Jeff Lacey says, he slaps hard. Yeah, this is going to be the hardest fight of Kawasaki's life, but right now he's boxing the fight of his life. Lovely combination. And then spins off and leaves Lacey to hit in thin air. He's he boxing is his boxing. He is giving him a boxing lesson. Absolutely, John. Fuck him boxing lesson he's hitting him but he's not getting hit this is this is fantastic boxing by Kawasaki brilliant from Kawasaki at this stage can he keep it going though Lacey the man with dynamite in his fists we know he's a terrific puncher easy easy goes up the chance well I think that might be tempting fate just a little bit but it's not easy John because he's having to work for this outstanding opening from Kawasaki won the first two rounds and he's absolutely dominant in this third so far see Lacey's just become very pedestrian very one paced you know like all punches has to rely on him setting his feet to get those big punches off and while he's doing that Kawasaki's out boxing him well I always thought Lacey was one paced Duke but the thing about him is that he does bang that big right hand and as Calzaghi tires if he can't get Lacey out of there as he tires that could be more of a factor but look at that hand speed from Calzaghi that is exceptional absolutely exceptional one two three punch combinations and then missing Calzaghi just goes missing showing out now His confidence is growing by the round well that is a brilliant three minutes boxing from Joe Calzaghi
right hand every time. Okay. When you're inside like that, give him a little push. Give him a little I don't push. think give that uh, Jeff Lacey can quite believe what's going on in there. He's finding no way of getting to Calzaghe after that on, right Jeff. hand you're early on. He's just trying to bomb everything. He looks Come bemused. On. Come on, you gave away the first three. You cannot keep that pace. You cannot keep that pace. He cannot keep that pace, Come says on, Dan Jeff. Birmingham. Come on, Jeff. Well, we will see. What a straight right hand. What a day. Drop him down a little bit. Good job, it's time to get Bring it up. Let's go. Yo, good job, it's time to get a right? yeah, big job. Big job, right? Don't come to the long. Keep it long. A brilliant opening to this fight from Joe Calzaghe. Look at the hand speed and the mobility. If that's the performance of a waning fighter. It certainly doesn't look like it so far, but can he keep it up? Yes, he can, John. We've seen this from Calzaghe before, and yes, he can keep this pace up. Kazak, uh, Lacey looking a little bit sorry for himself in his corner there. The corner just starting to get a little bit anxious now. Enzo Calzaghe saying use the jab as Lacey tries to tee off an uppercut. He said to Calzaghe, box your way in, don't just get dragged into the terror. Oh, Calzaghe almost showboating there, shows him the right hand and then landed a peach of a straight left. Calzaghe coming under attack himself. Yeah, this is where Lacey wants it, he just wants to apply pressure, pressure, pressure on Kawasaki. You know, he's, he's hoping that the pace will drop where he can land these big overhand rights and the famous left hook. I assume you scored the first three rounds to Kawasaki, Duke. I've given Kawasaki everything, and I'm not being biased, I just see Kawasaki outworking Lacey completely. Lacey's cut! Lacey's well, cut around the right eye, and it doesn't look good. That's going to be a lot of work for the corner between rounds. Well, it looks as though it's that damaged left eye. He had scar tissue there, and it looks as though it's opened up again, and they're going to have a look at it, I think, are they? He's saying it's a clash of heads, is, uh, is Lacey. It goes to the end of the fourth round. It goes to scorecards. This one is the fourth round. If it were to be stopped, if the referee says that it's an accidental clash of heads, it's caused it but no suggestion that the referee is saying that to this point. And there's an air of desperation about the work of Jeff Lacey. He knows that he's cut, he may not have been hurt, at least not hurt badly, but the fight is going against him because Calzaghe is giving him a boxing lesson. Well, there was scar tissue coming into the, on his left eye, coming into this fight, and the cuts opened up, I think, on the right eye, I'm not exactly sure. It is the right eye, Duke. Yeah, the right eye, but Calzaghe's actually doing a number on him. He's boxing such an intelligent fight. You know, Lacey looks just a little bit desperate, a little bit clumsy. Doesn't have the same footwork as Kawasaki. Doesn't have the hand speed of Kawasaki. Nigel Benn said this week that if Kawasaki had been around in his era, the era of Chris Eubank, of Steve Collins, of Michael Watson, he could have stood the test with all of them. Clash of heads inside there. Lacey came boring in low. But he took a load of punches from Kawasaki as well, flurries of shots. And Lacey, for all his attempts to force the fight here, has not landed really one clean shot, for my way of looking at it, on Kawasaki in this round. Yeah, there's been nothing of real any significance landed by Lacey. Sure, he's forcing the fight, but Kawasaki's just totally dominating and outworking him. Closing stage from the fourth, and it's another Kawasaki round, and look at this! Terrific work from Kawasaki! And it's a bad one over the left eye, and I think the right eye is damaged as well. His face is a mess, and it's not, I don't think, clashes of heads that's done that. It's been the accuracy, the precision, and sheer brilliance of Calzaghe's punching. They've got to do something to stop that. That is a mess. They don't appear to be doing anything with that cut. Close your hands. Jeff, okay. Jab right hand. You gotta get okay. off first. You're waiting. All right. You're waiting, Jeff. Jab right hand and let him go. Bad, and bad damage to the down. eyes of right. Jeff Lacey. And what a spectacular onslaught from Calzaghe. There was a clash of heads there, but that's not damaged the eye. That's hit him low. It's not that clash of heads which has caused the damage. Not to my way of looking at it. 
and they're very slow to get out of the corner there. Deep cuts on Lacey's face. Strike should be underway. And the corner man in the Lacey camp very slow to get out. And Calzaghi <laughs> may be on his way now towards victory. Surely he's won all four rounds, but he can't get careless. Lacey still has that power. Lacey really needs to get at the races now and try and, you know, assert himself in this fight because he's in danger now of not only being stopped but probably being on cuts, but he's being outworked and outboxed like Alzaki. Desperation from Lacey as he comes forward, trying to win those trademark hooks, catches Calzaghi with one there. But so far, the overhand right, which is a real danger punch, hasn't been in evidence. Calzaghi's kept him away and another lovely flurry of punches from Calzaghi. Right now, Lacey doesn't appear to have an answer to the southpaw style. It's causing him all kinds of problems because he's catching everything on the way in. There's no lateral movement from Lacey, and this is probably one of his biggest downfalls. Sure, he's got the power, sure, he's got the skill, sure, he's got the arsenal, but he doesn't have the lateral movement to get out of the way of what's coming back at him. Although he wouldn't say as much, I always got the impression there was just a hint of jealousy and maybe even a tad of resentment in Joe Calzaghi about the lack of recognition for his achievements and the fantastic support up here in Manchester for Ricky Hatton. Well, here tonight he's proved himself to be a fighter of the very top draw so far and Ricky Hatton, who's in this crowd, I'm sure is watching on with a great deal of admiration. But Lacey's punches are very predictable and Calzaghi can read them really easily at this point. But he's found lovely combinations and Mace, Mace, Lacey's face is a mess. This last 12 rounds, goodness knows what sort of state Lacey's face is going to be in by the end of it. Already in the fifth round, he looks as though he has had an absolute pounding and another straight left thuds him towards those damaged eyes. Lacey's really struggling with this one, I promise you. Not only from the cuts, but he just can't work out this style. He can't get his punches off. He can't say he's given him another boxing lesson. He's had his ears boxed off. Lacey said, Southpaw style doesn't matter one jot to me. I've had goodness knows how many rounds sparring with Winky Wright, but so far he's had no answer to this. Calzaghi bullies Lacey back across the ring. The referee says, don't do that, but it's not a tea party. Lacey's just ploughing forward, but he's not throwing anything. He's, just, he's like a catcher at the minute, he's like a catcher's lip. He's just catching everything that Kawasaki's throwing. He can't keep his combinations going. He can't match Kawasaki for hand speed or work rate. Kawasaki's contemptuously now dropping his gloves, almost inviting, inviting Lacey in. Well, the route continues, all Calzaghi, and that, oh dear me, that face is just a mess. That is a mess. And look at the eyes of Jeff Lacey. I thought at the press conference on Thursday, behind that grim, threatening demeanour, lurked genuine tension, if not fear, of what might be coming. Now he knows his worst nightmares are coming. Lacey has been on the receiving end of a non-stop pounding in this fight. Five rounds out of five to Joe Calzaghi. And the Welshman, so far, is having things his own way and is boxing quite superbly. You know, they're waiting for the pace to drop, but he's going to be waiting all night because Kawasaki can do this all night long. But he must get overconfident. He has to stick with his game plan, hit and not get hit. Tie Lacey up, spin off, and just go missing and keep feeding in this stream of accurate, brilliant, quite brilliant combinations. I'm sure in the corner, Enzo Kawasaki will have been drumming in the instruction, keep working off the jab, try and keep it at range. There it goes, rocking back the head of Lacey. See, it's okay for Lacey to, you know, get fed 
a string of guys that he can just to stand in front of him and you know they're almost fearful because once they get in front of him they see this muscle man in front of him and then they end up getting knocked out but Kawasaki won't stand for anything like that Kawasaki's never had the respect he should have had in the United States through no fault of his own he didn't get the contests against the likes of Roy Jones and Bernard Hopkins and look at that quality there must have been about a seven or eight punch flurry of blows there aimed by Calzaghi and I think just about every one of them hit another good left hand and Lacey is starting to look bemused, befuddled and utterly on his way towards defeat he's coming apart at the seams John what a beautiful combination we've got there from Calzaghi controlled pinpoint accurate punches four five six seven punches all hit on the mark on the button Lacey looks really sorry for himself and he's getting more and more banged up in there it's not only Lacey who looks sorry for himself, Gary Shaw, his promoter on the far side of the ring, looks as one of the most shell-shocked men I've seen in a long time. Shelley Finkel, one-time manager of Mike Tyson, isn't exactly putting out the bunting either. There's the right hand though, that's the danger shot. Or heads when he's dangerously close there from both boxes. There was a right hand over the top from Lacey which did get in. Yeah, Kawasaki felt that, but he's still winning the round. Loving right hand. I wonder how much more of this race he can take. Yeah, Joe, Joe's, he's going to be tired, isn't he? Let's get it right. He's thrown a hell of a lot of punches. You know, but Lacey's not capitalised on this. Only one punch, though, Duke. It can still turn around. Don't count chickens. Calzaghi is boxing superbly, he's winning the fight, but Lacey is still in there. Blood now seeping from his lower lip. Oh, headshots. Those are the slaps, and he slaps hard. Relaxed and confident. You're sickening him now, Joe. Absolutely on his game, isn't he? Look at that superb flurry of punches. I said seven or eight. There might have been nine or ten. It was ten unanswered shots. Nine out of the ten hit the target. What a fantastic boxing we've got from from Joe Kawasaki. Marvin Hagler said he deserves to be ranked in the best six in the world, pound for pound. Jeff Lacey was supposed to be the coming star. Doesn't look like one there. It's been all Joe Calzaghi as we move into the second half of the fight. Yeah, I've got Calzaghi winning everything. I think he's absolutely boxed rings around Lacey. He's absolutely given him a boxing lesson. Calzaghi, in case I needed to remind you, of course, the taller man in the black and white shorts, Lacey, the man who's been battered from pillar to post for 18 minutes, blood flying across our commentary position, maybe coming from the eye of Jeff Lacey, no doubt. This is all typical um, uh, Calzaghi right now, is what you're getting. And I was so used to seeing him fight like this. What okay. a good straight right hand lead he had in there. Now here comes Lacey, desperately trying to come in and wing, wing hooks. There's his girlfriend Jennifer in the corner, trying to urge her man forward. But Calzaghi doesn't box his way out of it. He tries to get into a trading session. And Calzaghi's obviously learned from his mistakes because when he starts his combination, he keeps his chin down. When he's been hurt or he gets backed up, he keeps his chin down as he starts to throw his shots. Look where his chin is, right in his chest. He doesn't want to leave it hanging out to dry. He's boxing a great fight. Lacey did get in with a left uppercut, as you were saying that, Duke. Just got in close. Calzaghi takes it well, though. Been down in a couple of fights recently against Byron Mitchell, Kabari Salem. That was an untidy fight, but Calzaghi was right in the middle of a messy divorce at that time, and thankfully for him, that's behind him now. Joe took a right hand there off Lacey, but he's still there, obviously. Lacey's Lacey just probably having his best round of the fight so far. Yeah, just landing one or two cleaner shots. He's getting out work, but he's landing, he's just get, starting to get through on Kawasaki. Kawasaki's still winning this round for me, though. 
going to have a headache tonight is uh, Mr Lacey. Taking so many shots and again flurries of punches from Calzaghi. Well, I want to see what Lacey says after this fight if Kawasaki goes on to be victorious, which I think he will be. Well, he's moaning about use of the head from Kawasaki. He wants to get on with it because this is World Championship Boxing and anything goes. He's getting worked over and he doesn't like it. Kawasaki, I think, is starting to tee himself up for the big attack. I think he might be looking to take him out here. Two big left hands and Lacey is on the receiving end of a barrage of punches. Kawasaki wants to get him out of there. His legs have gone, John, he's all over the place. He's hanging on for dear life, he's trying his fight back, but Joe's just got to be a better, punch, pick his punches better and get him out of there. Somehow Lacey has seen it through to the bell. Kawasaki says something as he goes back, and he goes back to the corner where he gets terrific words of encouragement from Enzo Kawasaki. Have you got him? Well, Lacey has job. never been down, but my job. goodness, he nearly went well. then. He Come came right, so close to being put down by those two you left hands. Fucking two fucking rounds out of the game. Right, it's fast and quiet this next round. Do yeah. one quiet. There has not been one moment in this fight where Calzaghi has surrendered the initiative and a punch count there would have, re would have revealed, I think, something in the region of 40 punches or more which hammered in on Lacey in the last... 15 seconds or so there, dramatic. Well, I said, you know, the worst thing Lacey can do is to hit Kawasaki and hurt him, because when Kawasaki recovers, he's like an out of control. Okay. And that's okay. what we just saw. Just, 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 just a couple of quality punches. Lacey doesn't have the footwork to get out of the way. This fight could be over very shortly. It's in all Kawasaki. I've got it as a complete shutout so far, Duke. Absolutely everything going to Kawasaki. You know, Lacey was the betting favourite, but I just figured that he hadn't boxed anybody in near of Kawasaki's class or stature. Six to four on he was. Eleven to ten against Kawasaki. They were tasty looking odds. Still a chance for Lacey. While there's life, there's hope. Oh, this is just, you know, Kawasaki's got his, right now Kawasaki's got his number. What a beautiful little combination. He's picking his punches beautifully. We're going right down the middle. The hand has held together well. Dean Powell's gonna done a good job binding up that weak left hand. I don't think there was too much sparring, if any, in the preparations of Joe Calzaghi for this fight. But then he's never been a big man for sparring in the gym, concentrating on fitness, boxing ability, and innate desire to win. He has a real winner's mentality, does the Welshman. Now, how he's done it for this long, you know, 40, 40 fight unbeaten record. You know, never ducked anybody, Kawasaki. You've got to really hand it to this boy. Good left hand lead from Lacey there. He's caught Kawasaki as he came in. Lacey's just plodding. Looks straight left. And another left hand from Lacey. And is Lacey at last just starting to get to Kawasaki a little bit more, I wonder? Kawasaki, if he performs to type, will try and produce something terrific to catch the judges' eyes in the second half of this round. It's a much closer round this round. Joe Corey needed to start just a little step off the gas, but as I say that, it's, it comes back with a nice four-punch flurry. Beautiful boxing again. He's got himself into terrific shape. He's up on his toes, looking fresh and sharp, even at this stage. Yeah, and let's not forget, you know, Lacey's been used to fighting on American soil. But now he's away from home. You know, I don't, I don't see him raising his game like he can do when he's back home. Kalzaghi's just allowed his work rate to drop a little bit in this eighth round. But then that's almost inevitable after the ferocious pace of the early stages. Yeah, George is looking just a little bit tired in this round. But you know, you can't fault him for that because he's he's really worked hard. But Lacey's not he's not paying him. He's not capitalised on what he's actually happening in the fight. Lacey has bull-like strength and he's trying to come charging in behind that spear of a left-hand lead. Calzaghi quieter this round. Has Lacey done enough to edge it? I'm not sure. Good uppercut inside from Calzaghi and another one. Oh, look at this. Headshots, all scoring shots from Calzaghi. Well, Lacey breathing really heavily now as he soaks these punches up. 
Well, that's the flurry of punches that uh, we wanted to see from Calzaghe from a British point of view. Right in, contro in control. See what Barry McGuigan's making of it so far. You had your doubts beforehand, yeah, Barry. I worried about him, but I have to tell you, he's been absolutely exemplary. Boxing brilliantly. What we, I suppose, overlooked was his speed. And certainly Jeff Lacey's overlooked his speed. He has absolutely bombarded Lacey. And Lacey has very little left in him. If he gets through another round of this, and remember, in the last round, Lacey took the round, or... Kazaki took the round off, he took an easy round. If he turns it on in this round, I'd be very surprised if Dan Birmingham doesn't pull Lacey out. He's taken a, an absolute hammering. There's very he little left in him. He's taking a pounding, and look at those shots which went in in the closing seconds of that round. And Lacey, well, I was, I was interviewed by one or two American journalists and American TV stations, and they look at, looked at me with a, with a look of amusement when I said that Kazaki might just be able to box this guy's head off. And, uh, they sort of thought I'd, I'd gone, lost my sense of reason, but uh, there you go. Well, you know, John, you're not the only one that thought Kawasaki would do this, you know. I know for a fact that uh, his, his manager promoter, uh, Frank Warren's had a big bet on his boy, so, you know, he's not about to put him in a fight that he doesn't think he, he can't win. And, what, you know, what a gamble. He's paying off. So far, it's paying off. Lacey's going to need the knockout, you know, just to get back on even terms. Gary Shaw. Lacey's promoter bellowing at him while uh, Calzaghe just having the binding on his glove fixed by the corner. He is eight rounds down, I reckon, Jeff Lacey. That's good boxing by Calzaghe. Nice high guard. You know, just pecking away at the jab. Tying Lacey up. Sorry, John, just tying Lacey up on the inside there. One, two, one, two, run, punchy. Lead again from Lacey. Alzagi, good body shot, good left hand. Oh, beautiful. Nice uppercut. Absolutely beautiful. That's world class boxing. Beautiful left uppercut by Kawasaki, right up the pipe. He said he wants Clinton Woods next as Joe Kawasaki. Clinton said he thought Kawasaki would beat Lacey. And if he's watching this, I wonder if he might be thinking twice about the possibility of going into the ring against Calzaghe, who, remember, has said he would love to be a world champion at two weights, as well as unifying this title. Mikael Kessler, the Dane, is a spectator here, the WBA super middleweight champion. That's another possibility. There's a big left hook there, landed by Lacey, you know. Calzaghe, for the first time in the fight, actually grimaced in a little bit of pain. Forward comes Lacey, trying to, you can see why he's always trying to set himself, trying to give himself an opportunity to throw that bingo right hand. You know, let's not forget, Kawasaki, I believe, has boxed at a much higher level and he's, he's been in world title fights and won with one hand previously, but thankfully tonight both hands have held up and this is the sort of boxing that he can demonstrate. Oh, that is superb. Knocking the head of Lacey around. Oh, look at that. He's trying to lace with contempt. That is an Ray Leonard trick. Absolute contempt. Beautiful boxing by Kawasaki. Fantastic. Winding up the right hand. Trying him with jab. Hitting him with the left hook. Well, this, is, this is what a true world champion is made of. When you can dismantle a, a, a rival champion with the, with the consummate ease that Kawasaki is, you know, this is a sign of the man's class. I think he could be close to being stopped here, Lacey. The referee should be having a good look at this, and I think that a compassionate corner might also be taking a good look at him because he is taking round after round of sustained pounding now, and Kawasaki is pr producing every shot in the textbook. All Kawasaki. Every round, I've John, I've given him every round. I've struggled to give Lacey even a share of one of the rounds. Another big, big round. And how much more can he take? Those eyes are closing. Wow. He's cut badly. What round is it? He's hurting. Nice. Oh, He's saying, what round is it? Okay. Well, he says he's OK. He could have fooled me. Punch after punch from Calzaghe. 
so Carl Zaghi saying, suck it up, dig deep, don't let it go away. Carl Zaghi in sight of achieving one of his fighting dreams and we're adding another title and beating an American star. Well, Lacey looks tired, he looks dejected and looks incredibly sorry for himself. You know, really slow getting off the corner now. Almost punched to a standstill on that last round. This is absolutely textbook boxing from Kawasaki. He's not done nothing flash, he's not taken any chances. He's boxed well within himself. He's been the 12 round distance eight times to Joe Kawasaki. Lacey three. Kawasaki knows exactly what it takes to win a fight. And here he is getting back behind the jab. Lovely right left uppercut from Kawasaki. Fantastic shot. He just shortened his punches up on the inside, which is what you'd expect with a short arm fighter like Lacey. He would be better at the inside work. But Kawasaki's met him on the inside and totally outboxed him. Lacey turned professional in 2001. By then, Kawasaki had been a world champion for more than three years. It's been a steep learning curve for Lacey from there. Was he overhyped? Maybe. Well, I wouldn't say he was overhyped. But I, think, I, think, I do think that Kawasaki here tonight has produced... Well, you know, I mean, he said that his performance against Chris Eubank was the best of his career, the hardest fight he's ever had. I think this is absolutely vintage Kawasaki. I think tonight he's been brilliant. Absolutely, and I'll have to second that. The guy hasn't put a foot wrong all night long against a young, hungry, unbeaten champion, rival champion at that. You know, IBF champion, but it looks like if Kawasaki can maintain this for the remainder of this fight. Beautiful by Kawasaki. Look what a lovely left up the car. They've obviously worked on that punch in the gym. It's paid off for him all night long. You're watching one of the outstanding British champions in Joe Kawasaki. One of the very best. And Jeff Lacey looks disconsolate, doesn't he? He looks in some distress, he looks bemused, he's banging his gloves together, he's bravely coming forward. Well, I could imagine, sorry Duke, I could imagine many a fight where this might have been stopped by now. If this wasn't a world title fight, I think Lacey would have been out of there. Good work again from Kalzaki, and look at the spring in his step, still up on his toes. Pure class from Kalzaki, leading with a straight left right hook. Superb again. This is just getting beaten to the punch every time. Top, out boxed, out punched, out maneuvered. And he shook his head disconsolately, came forward and was promptly bundled through the ropes by Kalzaghi. Got a great round for Kalzaghi. Utterly in control. Is that ten rounds gone? I've given yeah. him every one. Every one, John. I struggled to give Lacey one round. Well, there's his girlfriend, Joe Kalzaghi's girlfriend, that is. And she'll be delighted with the way things are going. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, says Enzo Kalzaghi. And well he might. It was just beautiful boxing by Kalzaghi. Look at the way he leads off with the straight left. Well, in this instance, you know, like a four, five punch flurry, six, seven, eight punches. All unanswered. It's as much as Lacey can do now to muster another attack. He's desperately tired. You know, I can see Kawasaki maybe stopping him in this round. If he really steps on it and goes for it, he can get the stoppage. There's no need, obviously. Should he be left out to take more? He's going. Round 11. And it just continues. More of the same. That's not a knockdown. That was a push. Kawasaki is. Okay, Lacey lost his footing, but Kawasaki give him a little shove to take that with you. And it shows that Lacey is just about spent, I think. Yeah, he got nothing left. You know, he, he hasn't been able to get his confidence with his big left hook, which he bragged about, you know, throughout all of the build-up to the fight. Hasn't been able to hit the target at all, not cleanly. So as I said before, he's been outboxed, outmaneuvered, outpunched now by Kawasaki. He said to me that if it goes to the decision, he, if it goes to the judges' cards, he wasn't sure that he'd get a very good decision from the judges. I think on that one, he's probably right. Kalzaghi is absolutely a mile in front. Well, he's been absolutely amazing tonight. 
let's not forget, John, this, you know, we've said it before, this isn't another defence. He's fighting a rival champion. Some would have said that uh, Lacey was, you know, on paper at least, a better fighter than Kawasaki. We always thought he was a harder puncher, but Kawasaki hasn't allowed him to land his punches. He's nullified everything Lacey's tried to do. He just totally demoralised him and outboxed him. There's a lot of people who thought that Lacey was going to win this fight. And uh, when they look back at this one and assess it, perhaps that should be remembered. Here comes Lacey, bravely coming forward once more. Kalsagi's binding around his right glove, he's coming, he's coming loose. And now we go to the corner again to get that glove bound. Yeah, I say, Duke, I mean, when, when they come to assess this fight, I don't, don't doubt there's some, there's some who say... Lacey just wasn't what he was built up to be, but there was so, it's very easy to be wise after the event. There are an enormous number of people, and not just commentators, I'm talking about people within the sport who thought that Calzaghi was going to go, that he was ready to be taken. Well, sure, there'd been one or two chinks in the armour, but what Calzaghi's proven to you, he's proven the doubt was wrong. He's, he's got himself in absolutely tip-top shape. We haven't had a problem with the hands, and he's got textbooks boxing. Here the comes Calzaghi again. Is he looking for the stoppage even at this stage? Well, Lacey looks spent. He looks absolutely out on his feet. The referee ought to be stopping this. He's getting an absolute hiding, is Lacey. And you worry about what sort of damage this is having to him. This is a well, it's not a career he's ending gone. fight. This is never going to be the same again after this, I don't think. He's got nothing left, John. He's got nothing left. The referee ought to be stepping in to stop this one. Come on, John. Fantastic. Oh, this is just breathtaking stuff from Kawasaki. You know, I remember this boy. He was on a couple of my shows when he was just turned professional. Mickey Duff said, that, watch out for this kid. He's going to be something special. Well, See, he wasn't wrong with that. But since taking over from Frank Warren. Oh, they take oh. the points away from Joe Kawasaki. No. Can you believe that? Oh. Well, that's being kind to, to, to Lacey. That's the first round I've given him. <laughs> well, I don't know what that's about. I suppose Kawasaki won the round, so it's actually scored a level round, isn't it? You can't, even, even losing a point, you can't give that to Lacey. You're fantastic, right? This guy, fuck all. This is you. Go stop, you go. You stop him last round. He's gonna stop now. He's gonna stop him now. Get the jab working, mate. Go for it. Here's the uh, attack from Calzaghi. I think the referee should. The referee should have been stepping in there, Duke. Well, Lacey took so many unanswered oh, shots. Here's, here's the oh little backhander. That's why he's done it. Well, maybe, maybe with sober reflection, the referee spotted it. Let's see what's happening in the lacy corner. Last round, baby, you gotta do it. You gotta let your hands go. You got three minutes to get this guy out of here. Right on, baby, you gotta do it. You can say that again. If he could turn this round, it would be the most extraordinary turnaround in a fight I think that I've ever seen. Kalzaghi has been superb tonight, absolutely superb. Well, he hasn't put a foot wrong all night, John, there's nothing to suggest that he's about to do that. You know, the spring in his step, the snap in his punches. It's Lacey who's obviously the desperate one. And the, the desperate man can often be hurt, but he can be dangerous. But Kalzaghi's a fighter through and through. Can Kalzaghi take him out, even at this late stage? He's going again. Going for him. Got him again. Watch Lacey's legs, they're gone. Gregory looks like he might step in here, John. He's gone, John, he's absolutely gone. Gregory's going to intervene. Look at his punches, I'm absolutely fantastic by Kawasaki. And the referee has a look. Lacey says, come on. He's put Lacey down. Down for the first time in his career. He says it wasn't a knockdown, but he gets the count. He's getting an eight count. And the referee says, walk forward, are you OK to go wrong? I don't think he is. There's two minutes left, and Calzaghi rains punches in again. He's trying to take Lacey out of there. Oh, he's totally gone. Look at him hanging on for dear life. Took a step behind Calzaghi to buy precious seconds. If Joe can just land one more clean shot, this fight is thank you and good night.
We've seen some terrific fights on ITV, and this is right up there with any performance that has been produced, I'm sure, by a British fighter. Calzaghi has been magnificent tonight, absolutely magnificent. Well, I can't remember a fighter being so dominant against such a dangerous opponent, probably, but not for the last probably 10 years. He was just, he's dominated every round. All around at ringside, people are standing up to get a closer look at this. And back into the corner goes Lacey to have binding reattached on his glove, and that'll give him precious seconds. Joe Calzaghi just needs to keep his, com keep his composure, keep his concentration. He's waving to the crowd, and the cheers of response are instantaneous. Calzaghi is starting to celebrate the greatest performance of his boxing career. Lacey comes got forward again, to got take that more. Got him again, beautiful shots. This has been an absolute masterclass from Joe Calzaghi. Last few seconds of a superb, wonderful boxing display from Joe Calzaghi. And I'm glad to say I told you so. Yeah, good pick, good pick. He has silenced the doubters. Calzaghi is boxing his way to a magnificent points victory. Quite outstanding. Oh, how on earth is Lacey staying up there? How is he staying up? A peach of a right uppercut from Calzaghi. The bell is about to sound. Calzaghi still picking his man off. Congratulations, Joe Calzaghi. They want him to call him out. Gary Shaw is shouting across the corner, get him out of there. Well, that's it. It's all over. Lacey comes forward, embraces Calzaghi, but let the doubters be silenced. Joe Calzaghi is absolutely, utterly top-notch, and he is now getting a rightful embrace from his father and trainer, Enzo Calzaghi, because I don't really think that it gets very much better. That was quite outstanding. John, I can't remember seeing such an emphatic victory over, as I said before, a, a really good champion. Lacey's a puncher, but Kawasaki nullified him from start to finish, outboxed him, outpunched him, outspread him. Fantastic performance. Kawasaki has gone to all corners of this Manchester arena and shouted out to the crowd, who's best, who's best? And I'll tell you what, that is the performance of the best fighter in Britain for me, uh, no question. Undoubtedly, pound for pound now, Kawasaki's got to be like maybe probably top three in the world. You won't see a more clinical display of boxing than that anywhere on this planet. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of inside. Nelson Vasquez scores them out 119 to 105. Judges Adelaide Bird and Roy Francis both score them out 119 to 107. All three in favor of the winner. And now the unified super middleweight champion of the world, the pride of Wales, Joe Calzaghi. We have a Welsh celebration in Manchester. We have a British celebration and a celebration of the very best in boxing. Joe Calzaghi has been a professional since 1993. 41 fights undefeated here in 2006. He has the best win of his professional career. Right, Joe Calzaghi, you were sensational tonight. You said he was made for you. Not everybody believed you. You were spot on. Yeah, well, I'm so, I can't kind of explain how happy I am at the moment. You know, um, this is a fight, I mean, we've been after this fight to, to bring, I've already said, a better opponent, a better perform. You know what I mean? I have to perform against the best operators, then you see the best of uh, Joe Calzaghi. So I think I, I performed well. You know, he's a world class fighter, and I, I think I won every single round. You know, and, and I was in great shape. Thanks to my dad. He is, without him, I wouldn't be here today. He's a great trainer, great dad, loving a bit. Um, 
Yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks to Joe. Uh, thanks to you know, my little kids, Joe and Connor. Uh, see you on Monday. I love you both. Listen, you gave him a boxing lesson. You boxed his head off in there. It must have been the performance of your life. I knew I had to box because the only chance he had was to stand toe to toe. I slipped up a few times, nearly a Barry Mitchell fight, Charles Brewer fight. My dad told me, you're going to need to box this guy. I think I showed everybody tonight, I'm a better boxer than I'm a fighter. I spoke to Barry, Barry said the same for Frank. I had to keep on the back foot, jab, move, boxing skills. And thank God, I, uh, I think I've done good. We could pick any round out to show you. We've got a bit of action from okay, the third, which was uh, absolutely phenomenal. I think at one stage, uh, Duke McKenzie counted 10 unanswered punches going in there. I mean, it was just a boxing education. Yeah, it was, I knew I had to keep him on the back foot, uh, sharp jab. You know, he's good coming forward, but to be honest, I hurt my hand about the eighth round again. Couldn't put my full power on my left. Um, you see, look, my boxing skill, I was way too fast for him. The, the only chance he had was to stand toe to toe and land a big shot, but I stuck, I concentrated for the entire 12 rounds, and, you know, thank God I, I put a great performance when I had to. You worried about that uh, left hand, we worried about it. Did I understand you right there, Joe? You said it went in the eighth again. I hurt him, hopefully he's not, it doesn't, it doesn't feel as bad as it did last time, but. I heard it, but I'm not surprised, you know, you see, the, you see them punches landing on his head, you're going to get sore hands, you know. I have to say to you, not bad for an old slapper. Not bad for a slapper. Like I said, you know, he come in our ring and rest and make my power, and not once did he hurt me, not once did he trouble me. In fact, I was quite surprised. I expected his punches to be harder than they were. I, I've been in with harder punches. That was, you know, I didn't box for six months, there's better to come. Did you feel the corner should have pulled him out? No, you can't say that. Listen, he's a, he's a true warrior. He's a champion. You know, that's the game. I, I, if I'm in that position, I want to continue. That's that's we are big. We are warriors in that ring. You know. Let's have a quick word with your dad, your trainer. You did it your way. You worked away uh, around the valleys. You got your man in great shape. You must be the proudest dad in the world. Without a question of doubt. I mean, um, what we did today is something I always knew he was going to do. I spoke with Barry many times. I spoke with um, uh, with Frank. And this was just the goals that he needed. It's a style, you know, at the end of the day, the better opponent, as Joe, you know yourself, the better boxer today was absolutely splendid. I would put that probably one of the best performances of his life since I've, well, since I've trained him. That's 25 years. <laughs> so it was one of the great <laughs> British performances in, in a world fantastic. title fight ever. Um, you're not going to shift him up now, are you? He's quite tidy uh, at this weight, isn't he? I might give him a couple of pork pies yeah, now, we'll see what goes I on might, from there, we'll see there. I might go attach these belts. <laughs> Just finally, what are getting those two belts rounded? What does it mean to you after all those people saying he hasn't fought anybody, he's a paper, he's a featherweight champion? What does it mean to you to get those two belts Listen, in your hands? Um, I'm the top, I'm, I've been for years, the one, a top 10 pound for pound fighter in the world. And I think I needed the, 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 the chance to prove it, and I think tonight I proved I'm a top 10 you know, world fighter. And I, I'm looking for them big fights, Tava. We are frank now, after that performance, I think I deserve the big, massive uh, pay, you know, fights and paydays. A command performance, a boxing masterpiece. Many good judges are convinced this was the best display by a British fighter on these shores. No one gave Lacey a round. He was hit by an astonishing 1,006 punches. It was faultless. Modest Joe was spellbinding. Judgment Day became Coronation Day for Joe Calzaghi, now recognised as a great champion who's on top of the world.